Welcome to the best of BGP, powered by the TAB. The spring keeps on rolling and the lads keep finding the winners. Let's get some more. It's good to be back for another weekend, Luke. And the Rackman and the Goat got on the board last week. And of course, we would have won thousands of our best bets had come in on Saturday afternoon if Hawks Bay didn't get abandoned. Yeah, surely. But it was good to see a couple of snazzy winners, including the blessed bet. Hopefully we can do it again this week. The Goat's going to look to keep the streak going, and he's heading down to Harwood, an outstanding racetrack down there. In race four, he's found a horse called Risque Ruler. Now, this horse is first up, but it's trialled well. It's showing enough at the jump outs to tell him, to tell us, for you to get on. Well, we all know that when the Goat finds form, he finds some good value, so make sure you follow that one. Another man to follow when he gets on form is the Rack Man. He's looked at the form for Harwater and Tauranga, doesn't like it, too heavy. He's heading over to Flemington, race five, first settler. He hopes this one's going to settle first on the post. Got good form behind Growing Empire, who ran second in the Manicato last Friday night, so he reckons this horse will be too good for them on Saturday. Flemington, race five. First settler. Well, speaking of those tricky tracks, mate, it's not often that Ted struggles to find a best bet in two race day cards, but he's left it for the last minute and he thinks that no rain ever can get the job down, down there at Harwood in race number eight. So we have to wait till the back end of the card, but this horse has trialled up well and it's very good fresh. So I'm sure Ted is going to get back on the board with this one. I'm sure Ted will. It's not often that he misses out on them. I'm going to go to race three at Harwater. He's lucid. This horse ran third in the Whanganui Guineas a few weeks ago behind Reed about it. They're all talking about this horse as a derby contender. The start before that, He's lucid, was rocketing home behind Bell's Fate, who went on to win two more after that. Couldn't get the job done for us yesterday, Luke, but let's forget about that. I think He's lucid is looking like a very good bet on Saturday. Boosted from $2.05 out to $2.30 on the surge dogs. I think He's lucid will get the job done. Let's have a crack at it. At that price, I'll be having a go at that, Matt. But I'm also going to be having a crack at this one down at Tauranga, race number seven, a horse called Chattahoochee. You might think that I'm smoking it, but I'm going to take on the favourite here, Mustang Valley. I'm hoping we get a soft track, but if we do get the heavy, that is going to be the complicating factor. So we're going to take this one each way, but this horse is extremely good at the mile. It's third up. If we can overcome the wide barrier draw, I think we could actually knock off Mustang Valley as much as the punters might not like to see that. Well, I think you've been smoking it on the punt so far this season, mate, so we might as well have a crack at Chattahoochee on Saturday. And it is the blessed bet as well, isn't it, mate? It sure is. We're going to take... Chattahoochee to run top three. Now this horse is eight from nine at the mile to run in the top three. So if it doesn't run top three, I don't know what's going on. So this horse is now $2.30 out to $3 to run the top three. Remember that it is a $100 max, but good luck if you have a crack with that. I think this is an exceptional bet. And I hear you're leaving us this weekend, Luke. You're going to be making a bet on the blessed bet from Sydney with your J-Mac t-shirt on. I'm going to go watch J-Mac over there, spend a weekend over there, watch the grand final as well, then I'll be back for next weekend, a big weekend of racing here in New Zealand. You're all over the place, mate. Luke absolutely loves it. And what we absolutely love is the King of the Punt, which is coming up next Saturday as well at Ellerslie. We've got 120 of you punters coming in to find out who is the best punter in BGP. You can still get your tickets, check online for that. But of course, in the meantime, enjoy your weekend. Good luck if you're having a cracking game. Gamble responsibly.